have like a go-to Nespresso order. Hello, what is up? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to a little day in my life. We're sporting a sporty chic moment today. I don't know why I always take off my shoes and go like this to show you guys my leggings. Like you get it, I'm wearing black leggings, but for some reason, that is my instant reaction to showing my outfit. But I'm obsessed with this top from Lululemon. My mom and dad got it for me for Christmas. And I literally want it in every single color because it is so comfortable. It's a built-in sports bra. And I feel like it just like looks cool. Like I look like a cool sporty gym girl right now. I'm going to a workout today at 5.30, so I figured I'd put on my workout outfit at 9 a.m. because logically that just made sense in my head. I just went downstairs to pick up a package and the, I don't know what like you would technically call them because I don't like calling them like the concierge or like the front desk people for a building. I feel like they have an actual title, but I don't know the actual title. Um, she was like, oh, did you just go to the gym? I was like, nope, but I do look like that, don't I? I look like I literally just walked straight out of the gym, so that's the vibe for today. But I wanted to quickly, and when I say quickly, I mean very quickly because I have a meeting in six minutes, intro the vlog and say, welcome back. I'm gonna film a little day in my life, like a work day, in-depth day. I have the apartment to myself today because John is in office. I will be in office tomorrow, so our schedules are kind of like flipped this week. But you know, I feel like it's, sometimes it's nice to just like spend the day alone. Not that I don't love him to death, but this is me time, so I wanted to vlog. Also, wanted to share with you guys my Nespresso order that just came in the mail because I feel like after having my Nespresso machine for, I think I've had it for either a year and a half or two years now, I have like a go-to Nespresso order that I will order every single time without fail because these are the best pods in my opinion. And I wanted to share them with you guys because I've seen Nespresso get a lot of hate on TikTok recently and all of the things and i just feel like people don't know what to get and therefore their coffees aren't tasting good and i'm here to tell you guys the best pods in my opinion first i'm a big latte girl i make a latte every single morning with oat milk syrups brown sugar the whole nine yards so because of that i mainly get the double espresso pods because i don't like the single ones the single ones kind of taste weird and I have two go-to pods that if these ever get discontinued by Nespresso, I will be extremely upset. The first one that I have is the Ice Leggero pod, and this is specifically for the Virtuo line. It's double espresso, like I said, and this is actually specifically made for iced coffee. So I think the way that this works is that the consistency is stronger because by the time you like put your milk, ice, and then like pour hot espresso over your drink, the drink does get kind of like watered down and diluted because the ice melts but because this is stronger the taste isn't as watered down as it would be otherwise if that makes any sense to be completely honest i don't really notice a difference between using the ice pods versus normal pods i just like the taste of the ice leggero pod so this is my first one that i would recommend I love it. They also make like a full cup of coffee in this specific type, like the ice type, but I don't really drink full cups of coffee, which we'll get to in a second. And then the second double espresso pod that I like, and it's just the flavor, I have no clue, um, like the notes or like any of that, but it's the double espresso Chiaro pod. It's either Chiaro or Chiaro, it's C-H-I-A-R-O, but I've been reordering these pods literally since I got my Nespresso machine. I don't know if you guys can see that. This is what it looks like. This is the name of it. And I just like the flavor, like I said. These are my two go-to for double espresso and the perfect pods to make lattes, in my opinion. The next and final pod that I get in my little order is always the half-calf pods. I just said that I don't drink full cups of coffee, but occasionally I will. And typically it's after drinking my morning latte, like I'll just need a little boost of energy or it's on the weekends when I don't want as much caffeine, or it's in the mornings when I don't want as much caffeine, and I just like want a hot cup of coffee. I like the half-calf because it's half-calf, half-decaf, and it doesn't have as much caffeine in it. And also, I just like the flavor of it, in my opinion. I have heard rumors that they're going to discontinue this one, and I will be extremely sad 
if they do this is what it looks like for those that want to take a screenshot because like i said it's i think it's just the perfect flavor the perfect caffeine consistency and it's perfect for those days where i don't either want a latte or i want a second coffee in addition to a latte but i don't want as much caffeine you know these are the three nespresso pods that i absolutely swear by if you're new to nespresso or you're not new to nespresso and you just like haven't found the pods for you try these out i like I said, we'll be very, very sad if any of these ever get discontinued because they're just my go-to. As I freaking drop them all over the floor, I typically will never stray from this order unless like a new pod comes out that I want to try. But even then, this is just the perfect amount. And now I need to get back to work. But that's my little Nespresso haul. Check it out. I can have these linked down below so that you guys know these specific types and you don't have to go searching on the website but also if you want to take like a little screenshot this is what they all look like together that is that let's go take our meeting okay i'm finished with my meeting and i'm gonna make a little lunch which is why i'm back in the kitchen but before that I want to do a little unboxing with you guys because I got a package in from Zara and I'm very excited about it because if you watch my monthly reset video, which if you haven't, you should go back and watch it. I talked about how I'm going to Europe this month and I actually leave in a couple of weeks. So I just want to make sure that I'm like getting things in time for that Europe trip. But one big item that has like been in the back of my mind this entire winter season in New York is the fact that I wanted a new black puffer. Don't get me wrong, I like my black puffer, it's fine, it works, but there are little things about it that I don't love. Like I don't I don't love the silver detailing on it. It has like a silver zipper and like a big silver thing that hangs off the zipper. I don't know how to explain it. And I don't love the silver hardware of it, which is a really weird thing to be nitpicky about, but I feel like I can be nitpicky because I've had that jacket for a few years now and I feel like it's just time for a new one. So I did order one from Zara which i hope that it works out because if not then we need to go back to the drawing board but i have this exact same material jacket material that i ordered in their vest and i love the vest i've worn it a few times in the vlogs so i decided to order the jacket version and we're gonna see let's see what it looks like so this is what it looks like just based off the initial glance it looks really cute and i'm very excited about it it's super heavy duty and i just like the look of like how glossy it is but also matte and i like the fact that it's cropped i feel like it's just going to be like a good street style puffer that i can wear with outfits that was like my main thing is that my black puffer that i have doesn't go with a lot of outfits because of the style of it i sound extremely materialistic saying that so let's just ignore the fact that i sound like that but you know i like for things to match and i like having good style so that's that all right let's try this bad boy on also i got a size medium for reference and i'm just hoping oh yeah this is exactly what i was looking for and maybe a little bit more cropped than I hoped. Let me angle the camera down so you can see. It may be a little bit more cropped than I was hoping it would be just because it's going to be hard to wear longer sweaters, but for the most part, I feel like this is the vibe. This is the exact vibe I was going for and I really like it. I want to go look in the mirror just to make sure. The only thing I don't like is that this is kind of like choking me, but if I leave it unzipped, and I'm planning on wearing a scarf, then it'll be fine. If you guys like it, or if you're in the market for a new jacket, I can have it linked down below. I know Zara's website is absolutely impossible to navigate, so I will do the dirty work for you guys and make sure to link it.
just made a little lunch. This is literally the most random assortment of stuff, but I'm honestly not that hungry. We have turkey, deli meat, we have pineapple, these little Frito chip things from Trader Joe's. I like to eat it with this stuff. I know it doesn't look good, but I swear the sour cream spinach dip from Trader Joe's is bomb. And then of course we have the Stanley Cup. Okay, it's a bit later and I actually just made a smoothie. I made a strawberry, blackberry, blueberry, banana, coconut water, and spinach smoothie. I haven't tried it yet. Let's see how it is. Really good. Consistency is spot on. I've been working from the couch for a little bit. I feel like days where I'm working from home by myself, I like to work from the living room because it's just like a little bit more cozier and like more comfortable and I feel like sitting in the back corner of the office where like my computer is makes me feel super isolated from the rest of the world so I like working from the couch a lot just on a regular basis but I feel like when working from home by myself I especially like to do this so I took my work laptop moved it to the couch I have my personal laptop here have all of the beverages the whole nine yards and I've just been answering emails and doing a few other tasks that are on the agenda for today. It's 3.06 so my day is honestly pretty much over after I wrap up the next thing that I have to do. I have to send out an email and then my to-do list is kind of done for the day. I just have to monitor my computer to see if anything pops up that needs to get done last minute. I have like an eyelash stuck in my eye. I booked a workout class for tonight, which I don't know if I did mention that earlier because I mentioned the workout outfit, which, which I now have covered with a little sweatshirt, but I need to leave for that at like 4.55 because it's in Manhattan and I have to take the path over. So I just want to make sure that I catch the path at a good time that gets me to the workout class in time. So that's kind of what's on the agenda for the rest of the day. I'm going to sit here, continue to work, drink my smoothie, do all the things. It's so red. I hope it's not like an allergic reaction to something that was in this movie but, because I'm supposed to go to a workout class in literally 10 minutes, 20 minutes. Anyways, I fully jinxed myself because I said I was pretty much done with work and then I kid you not like five minutes after that I got pinged for so many things and I've been sitting on the couch working ever since so that was like an hour and a half ago that I last checked in with you guys and this is the first chance i've had to breathe and it's only because i need to get ready for a workout class now so i am already like dressed in the stuff that i'm gonna wear i put this on this morning like you guys know and i think i'm just gonna leave my hair like this too but i want to put some bobby pins in it to help with the flyaways i get so sweaty in these classes so i want to do hairspray and this is mainly because i don't know these little pieces in the front are like baby hairs or if it's breakage I hope it's baby hairs <laughs> but I sweat and then they like run down my face or whatever so I just want to make sure my hair is like super slicked back for this class and I was gonna redo my braid but I think I think it looks fine I'm concerned as to why my cheeks are so red and down here and here I wonder if it was just because I was wearing a sweatshirt and I was like overheating that makes me nervous anyways I also have a pimp patch on ignore that I'm probably gonna leave that on for the workout and yeah that's it i just wanted to check in with you guys and tell you that i literally jinxed myself because i said i wasn't busy and then the second i said that the universe decided to play me i'm back from rumble i actually just finished eating dinner and taking a shower and i wanted to pick up the vlog and end it off and give it like an official outro because it's gonna be an early night for me. I have to go into the office tomorrow, which I don't really have to do ever, but we have like an in-person training thing. So I will be going in person, which means that I wanna try to get to bed at a reasonable time so I can wake up early tomorrow, probably get a coffee on the way to the office, get on the train, get there in time for the training, the whole nine yards. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to subscribe down below, give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.